Welcome to this wonderful platform. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this channel for the first time, you are welcome. Please, if you like what you see here, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell. It's very, very important because it's going to help you to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I present to you news on daily basis on what is happening in the whole world, especially in Nigeria and in Biafra land. Yes, Abmada Biafra. I bring to you Biafra news. So before I do that, what I always do is that I analyze it and I sit down there to watch the video together with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. That is why the comment section is there for you to contribute, leave your ideas, your thoughts, your belief about the videos that you have watched. Please, as we are doing this, let us do it constructively. As we we'll hop into today's video, remain blessed. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. As we we'll I'm hearing, you know, so it's not of a surprise that uh, uh, the the former president, President uh, Gulag Ebele Jonathan, has decided to join the APC. Of course, we all knew when this started. It all started during the Bayasa of no election. Uh, was it 2009, 2015? I think 2019 or thereabout. That was when the plans of uh, Jonathan to join APC started. Okay, I'm reminding you because I know some of you normally forget. It's not the news that Jonathan has decided to join APC today. Okay, you know, they say, oh, Jonathan has finally defected to APC. The plans for Jonathan to join APC started since 2019 when he had opportunity to choose who will become the 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 governor in Bayasa state that was since 2019 the reason why they did not do that as at that time is because people started calling them out people started saying it people started calling jonathan out people started predicting that uh, jonathan is going to join apc but they decided to hold it you understand me? So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a news, man, my people. You need to understand how the Janjawe people work. Immediately you call out the situation. Immediately they know that the people know. They will delay it. They will delay the action. They will delay what they wanted to do. If they cannot change the name, if they cannot do anything, they will just delay it and make people to forget it. You know, and then what they will do is that, uh, they will bring the issue back. So that is what they did. So it's not today. Jonathan just joined because they want it to be on paper. They want everybody to see it now because it's already getting close to the election period. You understand? So the election time is coming and they are preparing everything possible to make sure that uh, they will take over the country. You see, what you don't understand is that it is you that is, that is playing. It is you that is thinking that the Janjaweed people are playing. The Janjaweed people are not playing. They are busy. It is a project for them. The, see, the Nigerian project to the fulanization project is a compulsory thing for the Janjawi people. It is some of our people that don't still understand. It is some of our people that are still taking this thing as if it's a joke. It's not a joke. The Janjawi people are making sure they do all the necessary consultation with everybody possible to buy everybody out to make sure that they accomplish their fulanization agenda. How do we do how, how are they gonna do that? They see that there are some people in Southeast, in Biafra land, that are interested in leadership position, in political position, in contract. What they do is that they go, they consult with all these people. They go for consultation with all these people and promise them that they're going to give them this political position, that they should be there. They will put them so that they can be able to give them direction and direct them and do whatever they want. They use them, you know, to make sure that they conquer our land. That is what is happening. So I will ask you a question today. Is Jonathan different? At first, you know, there was a there was a publication, there was a statement as at that time released by Jonathan that is not going to be part of uh, any polit Nigerian politics again that he has resigned. Is that true? You know, these are questions that we need to be asking because I know most most people, most Nigerians have short memory. They forget. They forget. Today, now, if any of these wicked politicians come and promise them five five naira, everybody will just go and collect five five naira and vote and forget that it is the politician that is making them to suffer. <laughs> you don't understand. You know, you don't understand. So we are resolute and we understand what we are doing. You see, these men they are interested in their pocket alone. How do I know? 
It was the same thing that uh, the governor of Cross Rivers did, Ben Ayade. Understand? The Cross River, the governor of the uh, Cross River. Of course, remember, every governor in Biafra land is a is the chief warrant uh, governor. They are all the chief warrant governors, just like the warrant chiefs during the colonial masters. That is the job of the governors now. They are doing the same job as the warrant chiefs during the colonial masters, the, 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 the colonial pe uh, period. You understand know I me? Mean? So uh, Ben Ayade in Cross River State is the same thing. Remember when he recently joined APC? That was last year. But they already had plans. For for many years ago or three years before to for him to join apc you know because of this corruption cases and everything what they will do is that they will find something to hold you and when they hold you they will use it as a bargaining power to negotiate and to use you to uh, destroy our people that is what is happening and that is not withstanding today we saw in the news that ben ayade spent 42 billion is it, it, it spent ben ayade awarded a contract to a company that does not have verifiable a uh, business address what does that tell you if you see them crying on national television is a from these guys they have perfected a way of stealing from our people they have perfected a way of stealing from our people you know what i mean they have perfect what is this one saying uh it doesn't matter what you are saying as you are listening to simon ekba and those american ladies you have missed all our leaders uh taught us you are a fool big time fool get out of my page you don't know what you're talking about anyways so what i was talking about is that today in the news ben ayade the governor of cross rivers you know came to national television on the uh, chinese television uh trying to uh, uh as if he's is uh trying to talk about um what, what what did he say that as if he was even crying you know trying to deceive the people that a project was awarded a project was awarded just imagine they awarded a project 42 billion naira they awarded a project to a company that is not verifiable that is how these people steal money that is how these people steal our resources so it's not today they have been doing the same thing same thing goes to the to the meeting that they had yesterday they call it uh, the southeast uh, 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 nas kakus meeting that uh ike ikweramadu happened to be the the leader of the southeast uh, nas kakus uh, whatever the uh, kakus you know ike uh, uh, ikweramadu i've told you already that it was there is no plan that they have to 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 make sure that we have freedom in biafra land the plan what the reason why they had the meeting yesterday was because there is a pressure from the abuja masters on them that is the reason how do i know i was not able to finish reading the whole of the statement the whole of the communique released by ike ekweremadu i just finished reading the communique let me let me point out one thing let me point out a few things number one in the communique he said that they are that they that they that they have a solidarity that they, they express solidarity to the people that are being marginalized in the southeast not just in the southeast anyway the whole of biafra land that is what ek ekweremadu said that they express they, they express solidarity what does that mean he said they express solidarity to the people that is being marginalized in the southeast what does that mean it means that the inner kakus the 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 equilibrium of this world are not being marginalized they are they, they are enjoying their resources so they express solidarity so what does that mean how can you express solidarity with your own people what do you mean solidarity when you are the cause of the problem let me remind you something Ike equilibrium was one of the people that supervised the east west road project do you know that the East West Road project up to today has not been completed? Is it not E.K. Ekweremadu that supervised that project? So he is talking today, yesterday, that whole that he expressed solidarity uh, about the marginalization that is going on in the southeast or the whole of Biafra land. Is how can you is he pretending that he doesn't know what has been going on in Biafra land? Are they not the cause of everything that is happening in Biafra land? Is my question. So you understand that these guys they know the games that they are doing. You understand me? Now, the second thing that I read from the communique, from the statement released by Ike Ekweremadu, they express, 
They say they express gratitude. They express delight that the that the weekly seat at home was being suspended by the IBOB. Do you understand now? That is the major reason why they had that meeting. The major reason why they had that meeting was to make sure that uh, they do everything possible to stop the seat at home. But they, are for, they have forgotten that the seat at home is not a command from the US. The Monday, the ongoing seat at home every Monday is not a command from DOS. The DOS have said, which is IBOB, IBOB has said that they have cancelled the Monday seat at home. But the people choose to. It's a voluntary action. The people choose to sit at home every Monday. In fact, soon they are going to add extra days. Because the people choose to stay at home because they don't understand what is going on. They want, they want to pay solidarity to our leader, Mazin Amdekanu. It's a choice of the people. It is not anything that has to do with IBOB now. Because the IBOB uh, leadership have cancelled the Monday sit at home. But the people, the indigenous people of Biafra are the ones that volunteered. They say they want to sit at home. If somebody wants to sit at home, will you force them to do a business? I ask you, if I want to, if I don't want to open my shop, are you going to force me to open my shop? So you must understand that there is something wrong. You understand me? Our people said every Monday they want to sit at home. It's their choice. This was not a command by IBOB. It's a, it, is a, it is a choice. It's a voluntary action by the people. Making sure that they take action. The indigenous people currently are conscious of what is going on in Biafra land. It is not like before that they will come and deceive us. In fact, let me just add to this. The reason why you are seeing all these things coming up is because the election is drawing close. Thank you very much, Pastor Godson. Election is drawing closer. They think they can deceive us again. Lie, lie. Thank you very much. My people, we have to be very, very conscious of all these things. You see, the Saris Naskakus, they all of them came together because the election is coming closer. That is the primary duty. You understand me? The primary duty is because the election is coming closer. That is why they are trying to make effort to see how they can deceive the people again to vote for them during the election. Finish. It is one of the priority why they kidnapped our leader, Mas in Ambikanu. It is one of the negotiations on the table. That's why in the communique released by E.K. Ekweremadu, he said that he's going to the federal government to come and interface, to go and negotiate. What they want to negotiate on the table is the election. Are you getting the point? That was the reason why they, they joined hands to kidnap our leader in the first place. There is nobody else that kidnapped our leader, if not this group of people who came together and think that election is more important to them than the life of the people. Are you getting my point? So that is what is going on. That is a plan. That is a plan. That is why now you now hear that they say uh, uh, Buari, Buari has, uh, uh, is it Buari? Uh, uh, Jonathan has joined APC. They are all working together, my people. These are the plans of these people. It's not new to us. It's not new to us. Every plan of these people is not new. It has always been the same strategy. There is nothing that they have changed from this their strategy. It is the people that normally forget. It is the people that has normally forgotten what these men has been doing. Nothing else. But we, I know the young generation of Biafrans will never forget this time around. My people, get ready because we are saying there is no election in Biafra land. You see? So now you have started seeing the campaign. You saw Ivan Yoba was standing there. All these men, they have a, an interior motive to go for... They don't even care about the people. Do they even know you? Do they even know you? That is why you must make sure that you protect and defend your land. This is a priority. Don't allow anybody to come and deceive you again with any kind of uh, 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 campaign promises and all of that. They have deceived us for many years and this time around we're not going to take it. They are planning for election. They are rooting for election. That is why they are beginning to have this series of meetings to try to appeal to the gullible uh, Nigerians that uh, they are doing something. They are doing nothing. They are completely doing nothing. If they are doing anything, they are doing something to make sure that they come back for election again. That is what they are doing.
You know, that is what they are doing. They should be ashamed of themselves. You know, E.K. Ekweremadu should be ashamed of himself. That he is supervising the killing of his brothers and sisters in Biafra land and he's not been able to do anything. There is no statement that has been released from uh, E.K. Ekweremadu ever since the killing of our people. Is there any statement that has been released? No. So that is how you know. You will look from the history of these people and you know if they are saying the truth or not. If E.K. Ekweremadu start telling you that he is showing solidarity to the people that are suffering because of the wickedness that is going on now in Biafra land, just know that he's joking. Just know that he's deceiving you. How will you know? Check the history. Has he ever condemned the killings of his people for many years? This man has never condemned the killing of his people. A.K. Ekweremadu has never condemned the, 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 the operation shoot aside that happened in Imo State. E.K. Ekweremadu has never condemned the killing of our brothers and sisters in Aba. What about the killings of our brothers and sisters in our leader's compound? Our leader, Mazinam Dikanu's compound in uh, Ibeku. The, has he condemned it? Did he condemn the killing of our brothers through uh, uh, the, the, the Janjaweed uniform men in Opibu? Did he condemn it? This is how you know that these people, they are doing a comeback. For some period now, we did not hear from E.K. Ekweremadu. But because it is getting closer time for the election, they are now coming out in bulk. You know, because they know what they gain. They have been always, every time, they have been bought because of election. But I am so much happy because the liberation of our people has already happened. The minds of our people has already been liberated through our leader, Mazinam, by our leader, Mazinam Dekanu, through Radio Biafra. That is why they want to make sure that they kidnap our leader and put him in a house so that he will not continue to educate the people anymore. But we know the truth. We are still here. There are millions of us here that will continue to, to do the work. It has always been the deceit. These people survived because of the way they have been deceiving us. You know, there's two important things that you need to think, to talk about, you know. The current situation happened. Or people do do something without thinking. And some people that think they don't do anything. I'm going to repeat that. One of the problems that we are passing through today is because people do something without thinking. And some people that do something, they don't think. That is a problem. It is the thinking mentality that has failed us uh, is the reason why things are happening like this. That is why our leader Mazinam Nikanu keep on saying that our that he doesn't know what happened to the mentality of black people. He, he, he was referring to thinking. The ability to think immediately without thinking about your stomach. Most Nigerians, what they think about is their stomach. If anybody just come and tell, give them money, promise them money, they are ready to just do anything to just sell out. Why? It's because they are not thinking. The only thing they care about is their stomach. Go and ask this man. What they care about is their stomach. What they care about is their hotel business. What they care about is their generator business. Uh, importing and exporting business. What are they importing? They are importing generators. They know that if, they, if there's electricity, they are importing generator business will not work again. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I am just trying to make you to understand what we are talking about. You see? These governors, is it today that they're going to change? Most of them, they have been in office five years, four years. Some of them going to eight years. They have never done any project. The only, what they do now is to assign money, award project to companies that does not have any verifiable address. That is the same thing that the governor in uh, Cross Rivers has done. He awarded 45 billion naira to a company that does not have verifiable address. What do you think happened to that money? They have looked for a way to steal the money. You understand me? Now election is coming. You will see so many things. Soon now you will see good luck. Ebele Jonathan begin to release a statement. You will see AK Kweremadu, all the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the Supreme Court administrators and the chief warrant governors in Biafra land. You will see them begin to release statements because it is now time for election. They are beginning to campaign at this time. That is a problem. But then they are, they are going to be disappointed because the gone are the days that the indigenous people of Biafra did not understand. But I, I can feel, I can see it. That the indigenous people of Biafra have understood what is going on. You understand me? Let me be let me be very, very clear. We should be very, very careful when somebody gives you 
any any command or any set of uh, information because what these people are doing is that they are working with these men to make sure that they deceive us for election you know what i mean we are saying that we don't want any election in biafra land there's a reason for it the reason why we are saying we don't want any election in biafra land is because they have been doing it for years nothing has benefited us nothing has benefited us these men are blood suckers these men are wicked people you know when you see them come out and talk you would think that they are good they are so wicked people because if you understand that they are the one that is keeping us in this poverty i don't think you you okay now let me even go into another conversation that is very important <clears throat> we saw that uh, the 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 warrant uh, governor in a boy state the warrant governor in a boy state um uh, the, the, the warrant governor in a boy state is saying that uh, the the religious leaders should be the one to calm down people. I think this will be another conversation. This should be a very hot topic that I'm going to start. I'm telling you that we need to do a sit at home every Sunday. <laughs> My brother, this conversation is going to is going to is, is is coming up. It's coming up. Let me tell you something. If you want your pastor to begin to say the truth, we need to do a sit at home every Sunday. <laughs> My wonderful people, thank you so much for watching this video together with me. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. Before, if it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are welcome. Now that we have finished watching this video together, you saw me sitting there watching it together with you. I appreciate you. Let's go to the comment section to talk about it. If it is your first time, subscribe, put on your notification bell. That notification bell is very, very important because